In this video, I have prepared various Skyrim mods that you must have. First, I will introduce some hidden gem mods, and let me introduce you to the Buckbeak mod by Creator Gonax. Buckbeak adds a hippogriff, a creature that looks like it came from ancient mythology to Skyrim. You can summon it and ride it around, and it is a creature mod with quite good texture quality. But if it had SMP effects on its wings and a flying feature and animation, it would be a really cool mod. Also, this mod only allows you to summon Buckbeak, but I wonder what it would be like if it was placed on the field like a normal creature. Wouldn't it be more awesome if you could encounter Buckbeak as an enemy or tame it and ride it? Next up is Nug. Nug is a small animal that looks like a cow with cute and lovely features and you can ride it if you summon it. It is a mount with excellent quality, from its unique horns to its spots and saddle. But it is a pity that it is limited to a mount, and it is so regrettable that it is not made into a creature. I really wish someone would make it into a creature. Next up is Dragon Beds. This mod changes the double beds in Skyrim to look like the ones in the video. The wooden bed frame has a dragon pattern, and the pillows and blankets have a striped gray texture that enhances the quality. Moreover, it is a great replacer that is designed to fit the Skyrim world by putting animal fur on top of the blankets. This mod is released on the creator's Patreon site, not on Tesnexus. I found it by chance, and I thought it would be nice to introduce it to you. Plus, it has no ESP, so you don't have to worry about conflicts, and you can install it with ease. Next up is Village Beds. This mod turns single beds into cushioned beds like in the video, and it is one of my personal favorites that I really wanted to introduce to you. It is a mod made by Renthal, and the beds have a wooden frame and a cushion that give a cozy feeling. And if you arrange village beds below dragon beds that I introduced earlier, some of the single beds and double beds will be displayed as dragon beds, and the rest of the single beds will be displayed as village beds. This way, you can diversify the beds in your Skyrim with both beds. In this corner, I will share some updates on various mods. First up is the news of Acheron 1445 update. Acheron is a death alternative framework that creates various defeat scenarios for players and NPCs instead of dying in combat. I introduced Acheron on this channel a while ago because it had some pretty cool features. Especially related to NPCs, you can loot money from defeated NPCs, rescue or execute them, or even suck their blood. However, I was a bit disappointed that there were not many options for players or followers. In my case, when the player was defeated, they were moved to a random location in the world, and there were no unique events such as rescuing captured companions. But this mod is being updated quite regularly, so various features including safety may be improved, so I think you might want to check it out. Next up is Kingsglaive Moveset 3.0. This mod adds flashy actions and unique attack effects when you use the Kingsglaive weapon, which summons a magic sword. The mod has been updated to version 3.0, which makes the moves more dazzling and stylish, and increases the quality of the mode. You can use the key trace system to combine normal or power attacks with left, right, forward, or backward keys, and perform stylish movesets with distinctive effects. You can also use the Elden Rim skill to unleash more powerful movesets and make the game more stylish. This is a very impressive moveset mod, but I think many people are not aware of it, so I decided to introduce it in this video. If you like the moveset in the video, please give it a try. Next up is Elden Rim Weapon Arts 2.9.7. This mod has been updated for a while, but I only recently got to experience the latest version of it. One notable feature is that you stagger and block when you run out of stamina, which gave me a very Elden Rim-like feeling. This also makes you more vulnerable to attacks, so you have to pay more attention to your stamina. Moreover, the mod adds various rag dolls that enhance the immersion of combat. I was impressed by the appropriate ragdolls that matched the attack motions, which seemed to be integrated with the other moveset mods. 
I think the mod also adds a perk feature that works with the custom skills framework, so you might want to check it out. In this segment, I will introduce you to some animation mods. First up is Dynamic Horse Petting Animations for Immersive Interactions, a mod that shows animations of your character petting or greeting the horse before riding it. It is very charming to interact with the horse in different ways. Next up is Banished Knight Halberd Moveset for MCO ADXP. This is a custom moveset for the Halberd weapon from Animated Armory. It is slow, but has a nice heavy feel to it. The power attack triggers a frost effect. It would suit well for enemies or humanoid skeletons like Draugr who use this moveset. I wanted to share this with you. In this corner, I will introduce some visual mods, and first of all, I will introduce TMD The Rift Leaves. This mod makes autumn leaves float on the water in the area outside Riften. This mod has the plugin ESL flag, and you need to turn on complex materials and dynamic cube maps if you use ENB. This mod enhances the atmosphere of the Rift region by making the graphics more natural and beautiful with the leaves floating on the water. And I'll introduce some of Kanja's replacer mods. First, there is Taproot. Taproot improves the quality and adds moving animations and also sparkling glow effects. Next, there is Heart. This mod also adds glowing effect and heartbeat animation to the heart. And there is also Daedra Heart, which also has a beating animation effect. And Briar Heart beating is the same. Finally, there is Chorus Eggs, which has a pretty nice quality and a striking blue glow effect. It also has an animation effect like a beating heart, and all the mods I introduced earlier are replacer types without ESP, so there are few conflicts. If you have enjoyed the Conj series, please try this replacer too. Finally, I would like to introduce the BDOR Ladrakan outfit. This outfit is a female-only outfit that adds Ladrakan from Black Desert Online to Skyrim. It was originally created by Team Tal for the LE version, but it seems to have been ported to the SE version recently. It is a beautiful outfit with armor and red scales that harmonize well, and it includes 3BA body slide. If you like the outfit in the video, please try it out. That's all for the new mods and hidden gems for Skyrim that you must have. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe, like, and turn on the notifications. Your support through Patreon is greatly appreciated and helps me make more videos. I'll see you in the next video. Have fun with Skyrim.